How long have you known each other? 30 minutes. I can't believe I'm marrying a stranger I just met. Congratulations, you two. Please sign here. If you're having second thoughts, you can still back out. Set aside grandma's views. Marriage isn't child's play. Equal cost sharing starts now. Living expenses, mortgage, car payments, your sister's mooching off us. She's paying half, too. Jenny's my flesh and blood. Since when do you pay to live in your own home? Aldrich, have you no heart? I don't care. Either you cover her costs, or she's out of my house. Keep it down. What's the matter? Madam Miller, I'll take you up on your offer to marry your grandson. Sorry, we won't be signing today. This is marriage, folks. Think it through. I've agreed, so I'll stick to my word. This marriage certificate is yours. I bought a place in Celeb Garden. You can move in right away. I'll text you the passcode later. I'm overworked and return late. Don't wait up. I need to swing by the office. Let's exchange WhatsApp. We'll sort out the details. Another time. All right. Heads up for Mr. Miller. Miss Gulf's gone already. Did you hear? Mr. Miller's coming to the meeting. Meeting the CEO at last. Grandma, my daughter-in-law? Why didn't she come back with you? I was rushing to the office. Told her to grab a cab. She's your wife now. She's a Miller for heaven's sake. You let her cab at home alone? What about the family reputation? I haven't spilled the beans about the Miller name. Until I've got her number, no official welcome wagon. I've done what you asked. The rest is my call. You better stick to your word. No take back. Lucy, I overheard you and Aldrich going at it last night. I'm sorry, I'm just dragging you down. Lucy, truth is, I tied the knot. You're hitched. You didn't even have a boyfriend. Who's this guy? He's Atwood Miller. Lucy, don't worry about me. Since you've taken the plunge, here's my two cents. Make sure your name is on the deed. Lucy, he bought that place before we got hitched. No way that'll fly. You never learn, do you? Please avoid my hardships. All right, Lucy, if he steps out of line, I'll be back in a heartbeat. Oh, you silly goose. That's a fake call. Let's resume. All right, let's resume our meeting. Grandma, we're in a meeting. You little troublemaker. You abandoned Jenny again, right? Jenny doesn't know the address. She's been waiting for hours. And you didn't answer your phone. I just realized I deleted her. I'll send her the location now. You go take a breather outside. Hurry up. Watch out if Jenny's mad. Hold up. You got married? You met someone once and tied the knot? If you needed a place to crash, you could have stayed at mine. Surely you didn't have to. Jump the broom with a stranger? Well... Actually, I simply wanted a life companion. He seemed nice, so I took the plunge. His last name's Miller. Isn't that Munich Tycoon? Also a Miller? No way. You got the rich Miller? Oh, please. Mr. Miller. My foot. If I could land a rich easily, they'd be growing on trees. But come on, both named Miller. That's a pretty rare name. Be realistic. I don't care who he is. I just want some happiness. That's plenty for me. Back to the hilltop villa. Mr. Miller. What about Mrs. Miller? All right. Celeb garden it is then. Don't forget to have someone drive that car back for me. 
What was her name again? Mr. Miller, it's Jenny Gulf. Make sure that name sticks. Who's knocking so late? Locked out, huh? What's the big idea? Oh, it's you, Mr. Miller. Playing dumb, are you? I said I'd be late, none never. Sorry, Mr. Miller. I'll give you a heads up next time. If you're staying out, then I'll bolt the door. I'll tell you if I'm not returning. Work's hectic. Can't always. Pick up your calls. Got it. It's late. Hungry, Mr. Miller? Want a late snack? No, thanks. Watching my waistline. Right. Off to bed, then. Oh, and one more thing. No more wearing pajamas outside. It's fine if I see you, but don't show off to others. I'm home. Mr. Miller. Morning. Breakfast time. I barely glanced at his abs, and he acted shocked. Mr. Miller, eat breakfast. Once my new kitchen gear arrives, I'll whip up breakfast for you. I married you, so I care for you and our home. Use this card for your shopping from now on. Mr. Miller, you bought the house, but I moved in. No rent for me, so I'll chip in for household stuff. You're not quite what I expected. I'll consult you on big ticket items, but I've got the rest covered. Did I bruise her ego? Mr. Miller. Heard of Munich's big shot, Mr. Miller? Why the sudden interest? My friend joked, the other day, that you're the loaded Mr. Miller. Mr. Miller, don't tell me you're actually connected to the Miller family. I just happened to work at Miller Group, that's all. About the card. This is our home, remember? Can't let you shoulder everything. All right, I'll take it then. I'm off to Lucy's today. Catch you later. Do you even know the time? I'm busting my chops out here and you're just home babysitting. I can't even get breakfast. What good are you, honestly? I'm so done with this. You mooching breakfast already? Lucy, eaten yet? Brought some for you and Tony? Nope. Tony's fever spiked again. Didn't have time for his breakfast. Look at him, putting on that sour face again. Can't he fend for himself? How come since I left, he's still nickel and diming you? It's tailor-made for me. The less you earn, the more he pushes you around. Lucy, is Aldrich cheating? No way. He's that decent. Don't sweat it. I'll be fine. Go on, get to work. All right, I'm off then. Make sure you and Tony eat. Will do. Well, I won't see you out then. Can't believe. Lucy's still in such a pickle. Holy smokes, a Rolls Royce. Dodged a bullet there. Sorry about that. Mr. Miller, that's Mrs. Miller. Do not let her spot me. Mr. Miller, Mrs. Miller's already split. Looks like coast is clear. Phew, she didn't catch me. Ruby, you won't believe this. I nearly went broke just now. Broke? How? I almost hit a fancy car on the road. Some Rolls Royce, I think. Luckily, no fuss. Or I'd be toast. What did they look like? Was it a dashing, loaded Mr. Big Shot? Oh, you. Be realistic. Jenny, got plans tonight? Wanna be my plus one at the Wannell Hotel Shindig? Pass. Oh, come on, Jenny. Pretty please? Fine, but don't make this a habit. Okay. If we can rub elbows with Mr. Miller today, we'll be sitting pretty. You said it. Our piggy bank's nothing compared to the Miller's fortune. Ruby, who's this Mr. Miller anyway? Isn't everyone here loaded? Why is everyone fawning over him? These folks combined are worth millions, but they're lesser than Miller's. 
Is that Mr. Miller at the door? It is. Let's go say hi. Who's that? Why stare at entrance? Don't tell me it's Mr. Miller. Jenny, what if the guy who walks in turns out to be your hubby? What would you do? As if. Oh, forget it. Crowd blocks view. Mr. Miller. Look, look, Mr. Miller's here. Mr. Miller, Mr. Miller. Jenny, let's check it out. Oh, forget it. Too crowded. We won't see a thing. Let's eat. Jenny, hold on a sec. I'll ask my aunt what the fuss is about. Be right back. Okay. Mr. Miller, Mr. Miller. Mr. Miller, I spotted Mrs. Miller. What's she doing here? Keep tabs on her, hide me, and find out who she's with and who she's talking to. Got it, Mr. Miller. Hmm. Ink's not dry on the certificate, and she's seeking an upgrade. Mr. Miller. Well, what's the scoop? Mr. Miller's here, but no sights. Word is, he's a lone wolf. At events, he's like Fort Knox. All bodyguards, no glimpses. Oh, I see. Hey, Jenny, your hubby's a Miller too, right? Sure they're not related? Millers aren't a dime a dozen? Too many soaps for you. Do you know how many John Smiths are out there? Plus my guys as blue collar as they come. His ride's worth peanuts. Him that Mr. Miller? No way. Fair enough. Lucy! Oh, Sean! Well, look who it is. I remember when Sean was knee-high to a grasshopper. Now look at him, all grown up. Jenny, it's been ages. Let's grab a drink. Sean, we've got an early start tomorrow. We should head out. Let's go. I'll give you a lift. Thanks, but we'll cab it. You've got schmoozing to do. Go on, mingle. Where to, Mr. Miller? Look at her, eating ravenously. Celeb garden. She's still not back? Whatever, we're just strangers. Even if she fancies someone, it's none of my business. Mr. Miller, no overtime today? Why so late? Didn't go to the shop. Went to a fancy shindig. Rich Miller's hosted. Did you spot Mr. Miller there? Mr. Miller. Not hide nor hair of him. But... I figured out one thing. All the Millers were, at that party, while you were home early. You're not a rich Miller. You want me away from them? If you were one of the Millers, you wouldn't marry me. Are you looking down on me? Not complained yet. Mr. Miller level with me. He's old and still single? Think he bats for the other team? Don't let your mind wander. Just worry about your own life. I wasn't talking about you. Hey, what's up? Morning, Mr. Miller. Scored a sweet deal this morning. These plants cost a few bucks. You're quite frugal. Gotta say, these plants don't exactly steal the show here. Mini garden planned. That'd need a bunch more pots. Might be expensive. We'll cross that bridge later. Heading to work now. Grab a few more plants for me, and drop them at Celeb Garden, before sundown. Lucy. Auntie. Hey, Tony. Look what Auntie got you. Like it? Love it. Go have fun with it. Splashing cash again. Lucy, it's for my nephew. How's that wasteful? Must have cost an arm and a leg. It's pocket change. Oh, Lucy, plans with Atwood. This Saturday his folks are coming over for dinner. Why don't you and Aldrich join us? Sure, I'll give Aldrich a heads up. 
Lucy, rarely shop clothes. Let's buy clothes. Save Aldrich from talking. Don't worry, I saved your money. I'll shop alone, trust me. How's this look? Nice, right? Let's get this one then. Let's go. Hi, we're ready to check out. Wow, we've got quite a haul today. Oh, it's Dad calling. Look, Dad's on the phone. I'll take this. Hold on a sec. Hey, Aldrich, he wants to meet Atwood's folks this Saturday. My clothes are all too tight now. Got to grab a couple of new things. First impressions matter. Got to look good for the in-laws. Sweet like a pig. Pig's profit dead. Can you? Unbelievable. Fine, fine. I get it. Have dinner ready for me. Stop lazing around all day, doing God knows what. Gotta go. Dad's joining us for dinner. Let's cook at home for when Dad gets back. Sound good? Okay. Well, hello, gorgeous. Working or visiting? I miss you. You're such a clingy one. You spend hundreds on clothes? Listen up, that's coming from your allowance. Pigs profit dead. Can you? What are we gonna do now? What's the fuss? It's a Rolls Royce. I'm so sorry. Really sorry. I'm truly sorry. Fine. Give me your number. I'll repay after fixing. Here's my number. I'm Lucy. When your car's repaired, I'll pay every penny, I promise. I'm really sorry. So sorry. Alright, off you go. Sorry again. Arvind? Lunch with Mr. Shaw. What brings you here? Never thought parkage card damaged. Lunch is probably off now. Apologize to Mr. Shaw for me. You go ahead. Lucy? What are you doing here? Tony and I accidentally scratched a fancy car. Fixing that luxury ride won't come cheap. I'm at my wit's end. Lucy, as long as you two are okay, we'll cover the repairs, whatever the cost. You've got me, remember? Don't sweat it. Why so late? Mr. Miller, Lucy had trouble. She was out shopping and hit a Rolls Royce. She's been out of work for years, with no income. She's worried she can't pay. Mr. Miller, it's late. I'm beat. I'm hitting the sack. Hey, Jenny. We'll sort out Lucy's mess. If you need cash, just say the word. Thanks, Mr. Miller. I think we can afford it. If we come up short, I'll ask you for a loan. Don't tell me her sister hit it, Arvin. The one who dinged your car. It was my wife's sister, Lucy. What? You're married? How'd I miss that? There's no love there. Just following grandma's wishes. She doesn't know who I really am. Ha. Huh. Okay, I'll drop it. Since you brought it up, I'll have her chip in a few bucks. Just for show. Like them? Mr. Miller, these are gorgeous. Oh, about that car Lucy scrape, I know the owner. He says, repairs will only run a few hundred. Really? But that ride looked pricey. Owner must be a big shot. How'd you reach him? Mr. Jacon's a client of mine. Pure coincidence. Lucy hit his car. Anyone else, I'd be at a loss. Talk about luck. Thanks a million, Mr. Miller. Just a stroke of good fortune. Let's tidy up a bit. Elders arriving soon. Ooh. 
Listen up, everyone. Jenny's in the dark. Keep our identities under wraps. If anyone slips up, Atwood will have your head. Don't count on me to bail you out. Grandma. Well, hello, Jenny. My word, Atwood's doing the shopping now. Well, I never. It's all thanks to you, dear. My ice prince of a grandson finally stooping to the market. Ha <laughs> ha! Come on, Grandma. All right, dear. Have a seat, Grandma. Jenny, meet Atwood's brother. Oh my! Jenny, is Atwood kind to you? If he's giving you any grief, you tell me. You hear? Not at all, Grandma. Atwood's quite the homebody. Look at those flowers. All Atwood's handiwork. Atwood seems like your life's a mixed bag, eh? Lucy. Tony. Grandma, this is Lucy and Aldrich. That's my husband Atwood and his bro Andrew. Aldrich, enjoy yourselves. I'll go cook first. Let me help you. Take the seat. Dad, I'm thirsty. Dad, I want some water. Lucy, can't you hear Tony's noise? Learn to read the room. I'll get you some water. Alas, Atwood. She looks busy with work, but she is actually leisurely. Aldrich, since Andrew is here, I'll help in the kitchen. So do I. Hey, if you're married, you're tied down and lose your freedom. Mr. Miller. Rest for a little. I'll make it my own. I have no common with Aldrich. Andrew is with him. In that case, stay here with me. Time for lunch, Tony. You cooked up a storm, Jenny. Thanks to you, this is the first time Atwood cooks. Alas, I envy Atwood. He's got a kitchen whiz. Jenny, why don't you hold a wedding? Aldrich, we have our own ideas. Atwood and I plan to save the money for the wedding later on. Well, Atwood didn't give you any gifts, and you married him. It doesn't matter, as long as we live a happy life. Jenny, you've got the wrong mind. Either way, you've stayed at my place for long. Atwood should send me a gift to express his gratitude. Aldrich, in your opinion, which gift do you want? I have no special demand, but Jenny has lived in our house for a long time before and is considered our family. Atwood, just transfer the monetary gift into my card. That's right, Aldrich. I'll make up the gift to Jenny. Mind your own business. What do you mean? You have no present for Jenny since she has been in my house. If I'd known, I wouldn't have defended you. You'll never make it in the Miller Group. Calm down, Aldrich. I toast you. I'm sure you'll defend in the Miller Group. Cool your head. As a manager, I have some say. Atwood only deserves to be an ordinary employee. Aldrich, the Mr. Miller you mentioned is the richest one in Munich. What's up? You knew him. If I don't know him, you'll treat him as your relative, right? Aldrich, you just worked for the Miller Group. How aggressive you're! You've gone too far. So what? Even so, I get to spend time with Mr. Miller every day. Atwood is no match for Mr. Miller, and he means nothing to me either. Aldrich, which company is it you mentioned? Stop it, Atwood! You married Jenny and should get her a gift. We'll all be family from now on. Stop arguing, or I'll get angry. Enjoy yourselves. Oops, 
It has been a long day. I'm beat. Jenny, what did Grandma tell you today? Nothing serious. She asked me if you bullied me. One more thing. She told me to have the baby early. She always wishes it. How did you refuse? I didn't refuse. We just got married. You really intend to have a baby. Grandma said, I could have all her savings if I make it. How dare she covet our property? Jenny, stay and wait for me here. I'd like to talk to you. How strange. Can't we talk now? What is it? It's a pretty formal contract. Although we're married, we have no emotional basis. It's necessary for us to sign a contract. Mm. No problem, Mr. Miller. After all, I live in your house and at your disposal. Since she wants my property, why isn't she angry? Mr. Miller, if you finish your words, I'll go to rest. Don't you go through it. It'll be late if you back out then. Mr. Miller, I know your worries. Actually, I'm not interested in your property, and just relayed her words to you. And I don't plan to have a baby. I just joked with you. I just want... Forget it, Mr. Miller. I'll follow your rules since I live here. Don't you get some rest now? I'll out for a walk. Get an early night. Don't wait for me. Don't worry, Mr. Miller. I never waited for you. Alvin, how strange she is. She should be awkward, but she never minds it. And she takes nothing seriously? Arvin, don't I have any charisma? She even has no thoughts or feelings for me. Arvin, cheers. How can you be ignored with your high status? She's quite a character. You're hammered. What a drunk. It smells. Get in here. It's all your fault. I'm not authorized to enter your room. So I'd better stop here. Mr. Miller, hungry, huh? Enjoy the breakfast then. Mr. Miller, I'm too busy to prepare breakfast today. You'd better make it yourself. Atwood. Annie, get your car. Atwood. You're not on terms with my brother, but I indeed adore you. Think twice, please. Go away with your flowers. How dare! Hmm. 
I'll make it public in Munich that I'll pursue you. Ruby, my e-bike broke down. You take care of the customers. Who are you waiting for, Jenny? My e-bike broke down. Sean, you know where to fix it? Where are you going? I'll drop you off and send someone to fix it. Keep Annie's pursuit of me a secret, especially for Jenny. Got it. Mrs. Miller seems to be up front, just pass her by, but... There is a man with her. I even ran into Mr. Miller here. Who is it? The richest man in Munich. Didn't you see him at the party? We attended the party for the cake. He has nothing to do with us. That's right. Well, let's go. Take me back to Celeb Garden. Got it. How strange. Why is the door locked? Mr. Miller. Mr. Miller, why are you back so early? What's wrong, Mr. Miller? Did I offend you? We did sign divorce papers and can divorce in six months. But why you? Dated others now. You mean I cheated on you? Mr. Miller, you usually slander others for no reason at will? Answer me. Who sent you home? My friend's cousin, Sean. I treated him as my family. He just dropped me off. Any problems? My e-bike broke down halfway. You ignored me, and even slandered me. I have no idea about it. If you get jealous next time, you'd better ask me, not slander me. I'll never get jealous. I found you. Something special today. Stubborn. If you're in trouble again, call me instead of accepting others' help. Morning. Do you need any help? Nope. I'm used to this. Hello, Sean. Hey, Jenny. You haven't got your car repaired? Let me pick you up. My husband will drive me today. Jenny, I'm your brother, Willie. I haven't met you for so long. You didn't even tell me in advance. So what do you want? Come straight to the point. Grandma has got liver cancer and it's already at a late stage. You and Lucy don't even know that? In a moment, go to the hospital. Pay the registration fee and the deposit. I'll just see it as the money you've owed Grandma for many years. My parents got into the car crash, and you guys divided the compensation equally. You kicked me and Lucy out. How cheeky of you to let us pay the money this time. Jenny, just tell me if you'll pay or not. Why would she? Who are you? Oh, you are the street boy Jenny has been seeing for years quit being rude Willie be smart and leave now no matter what you do don't bother me and Lucy so you don't give me the money just wait I'll kill you 
He is just a badass. If he keeps messing up with you, you must let me know. Investigate the background of Jenny. Investigate Willy Gulf too. Did you get married in a hurry and you are so concerned? After all, I'll have to see how it goes in half a year. Oh, you weren't like this before if I remember correctly. You have changed. You talked a lot of nonsense. You'd better not ruin yourself. Hey. How do you apologize to a girl if you misunderstood her? Uh, it's just a woman. You can just buy some of her favorite makeups, handbags and stuff. Anyway, buy her whatever she needs. Why? Did you get your wife mad? I'll have to go now. Oh, by the way. My sister loves seafood. My mom loves beef. Buy some. Don't forget. Every time your sister comes, she eats a lot of seafood, like crabs, a lot of them. Do you know how expensive they are? I don't usually have the money to buy those things for our son. I just wanted you to buy the food. What are you talking about? Also, you spent a thousand on clothes last time. This time, you pay the bill. Aldrich. So you don't even care that I don't have a job now? Okay, I'll look for a job now. The son goes to your parents. You gave birth to your son. You let my parents do the job? Aldrich, that's how you treated your own son? Stop saying that shit. Just do what I told you to do. Stop being whiny. Scurry off. Why are you here now? Follow me. This is for you. Mr. Miller, could you tell me why? I misunderstood you last night. So I wanted to apologize. What she needs. So I... So you bought me a car. It's not necessary? It's not much. Only $4,000. Could you return the car? If you can't... I will give you the money. Otherwise, I won't take the car. By the way, Lucy asked us to have dinner. Come home early tonight. Eat. I will give you the money tonight. The car is a gift. Just take it. Don't worry about the money. Even though the car is cheap, your husband seems to be a gentleman. I saw him. He's right there. I'll gotta go now. Bye. Bye. Do we need to buy something for Tony? When we visit Lucy, buy some toys and some cigarettes. You've spent too much money. You should save it. Lucy. Jenny, come in. Come in. Where's Tony? I was cooking in the kitchen, so didn't attend to them. He's having fun? Mommy, I want a hug. I want that! Give me the toy! What are you doing? This is his toy. Don't bully Tony. Lucy, why don't you just let Tony give him the toy? We're the guests here. Don't be so stingy, Tony. Eh? Rare guests. Jenny brought her husband here for food and drinks. Baby, don't cry. Stand up. Mom will buy you new toys, okay? Here. There are new ones. We don't play that old one. Let's play this new one. Oh, hello. I knew you would come tonight. So, I asked Lucy to cook for you all. Have a seat. I asked you to buy seafood to treat my sister. What do you mean? You asked your sister to share the food, right? Why does your sister get to enjoy big meals every time she comes, but my sister and her family don't get the same treatment? Let's eat. Jenny, have these crabs that I cooked for you and Atwood. 
Emma? Have these crabs. I don't usually eat seafood. How shameless of you to give all the good things to your own family. You can't be so cheeky by taking everything good. All right, all right. Everyone, let's enjoy the meal. The dishes are going cold. Eat. Lucy, did you have some conflicts again? I just now saw that Aldrich and Emma seemed to be unhappy. He was just jealous. Why should I cook everything for his sister every time she comes? This time, I intended to cook the meal right before you came tonight. Lucy, don't be like this anymore. Now that I don't live with you, I'm afraid that if they make a fuss about you, you might get in trouble. I'm tired of splitting the money with him. Now I'm more furious than him. Jenny, it's getting late. Let's go home now. Don't worry. Go home. It's late now. You'll have to go to work tomorrow. But Aldrich's family hasn't left. I'm afraid they treat you badly. Do you think I'm the one who is to be treated badly? Besides, you are always here for me. Just go home. Bye. Aldrich, have a banana, Mom. How's my brother-in-law doing? Hey, what are you doing? Didn't you see the leftover food on the table? Clean them up now. Didn't you say we split money? From now on, we do everything separately. So clean up the table yourself? Lucy. Aldrich goes to work every day. He is busy and tired. He makes money for you and Tony. And you are his wife. So it's natural that you do the chores. Exactly. Aldrich pays the money for everything you need. And you let him do the chores? Okay. Let's get it settled. You said I do nothing at home every day. All right. From now on, I will do nothing. And you will see how this house turns clean and who washes his clothes. You are starting it, huh? You're asking for trouble. What are you doing? Tony is home. Whatever you do, don't let the child know. If you hit her now, everybody will know. Right, mom is right. If you run into the room now, you will scare Tony. I think Lucy went too far. You pay all the money for her and she's still not satisfied. I even prepare for the foot bath, water for my husband. She doesn't even do these chores? Sit. All right. I will beat her after Tony sleeps. Ah, uh, I forgot to tell you one thing. Aldrich, your niece and nephew are going to go to middle school. I want them to live here. I will pay you some money. All right. What's the money for? That's my niece and nephew. That woman always has time. I'll let her pick up the kids. Aldrich, you let me continue. They go to school here in the city. Legally, the house has to be ours. Look, could you transfer the house to me and then after they graduate, I will return it to you. Okay, I got it. I will talk about this with her. Aldrich, I think it's better to make peace with Lucy. Every couple has arguments now and then. Also, you're going to tell her about this house today. So, I think just forget about today. I agree. Your dad and I have never beaten each other for decades. Just bear with it, and it will pass. Okay, okay. I won't beat her today. Aldrich, I just now saw that Lucy took all the things that Atwood brought you. That's a lot of good things. I get it. Just tell me what you want me to get if there is anything you like inside. Lucy, I have one thing to tell you. Tell me. Okay? My sister wants to send her two older kids to school here. At that time, you will pick up them and cook for them after school. It's not a big deal. I'll give you an extra $140 every month, okay? That has nothing to do with me. No way I'm taking care of her kids. But I don't mind if they live here and pay the money. Okay, okay. You don't take care of them. But could you do me a favor? I want to transfer our house to my sister. And after her kids graduate, she will return it. It doesn't affect Tony anyway. I have told you. Give me the renovation fee. The renovation fee? I bought this house myself. 
Aren't you supposed to pay for it? Aldrich Davis. I will say it again. Either you give me the renovation fee for this house, and this house is all yours. Or tell your sister to give up on her idea. You? Are you going to beat me? If you've got the guts, kill me right now. Otherwise, you won't have another peaceful night all your life. You are such a shrew. I don't even know what I marry you for. Lucy's life is getting harder and harder, I thought. Aldrich would treat her better after I moved out. Didn't expect he's become worse. Mr. Miller? Luckily, you don't have such a difficult sister. All your family have good manners. Lucy is a good person. She will know how to make her life better. Also, she still has you. You are her support. I will definitely protect her. Let me protect you then. Mr. Miller? Can I lean on your shoulder for a bit? Just for a bit. It's not that hard. Mr. Miller, you look quite cute. Jenny, don't forget our agreement. Just a touch on your face. I didn't do anything more than that. Mr. Miller, if you feel like you're wronged, just touch me too. I'll let you touch me two times. It's getting late. You should rest now. That's all the information. You asked for... Their family are all farmers. Things only got better for Jenny, that's all I could find. Mr. Miller, Miss Williams is here. Tell her to go. Mr. Miller, Miss Williams brought flowers and put them in a heart shape. She's gonna propose to you. Atwood Miller. I love you. You finally come and meet me. Miss Williams, I am a married man now. You made up such an excuse just to reject me? You don't even have a wedding ring. You're lying to me. No way that you could lie to me. Check out today's trending topics. I don't care what you think. If this happens again, don't blame me for being impolite. Check out the trends. Someone proposed to Mr. Miller. That's very normal. You're not even interested in such big news? Damn it. Damn it. Ruby, what is the fuss about? Jenny, look, they are talking about you and Lucy. Why are you here now? I saw the trends. I feel worried about you. So I came to check on you. I'm okay. It's the first time that such things happen to me. I really don't know what to do. When they slander us like this. Is there anybody who knows about what happened to your family? Yes. But they are all farmers at home. We've lost contact already. Okay. I will bring you back there and collect evidence and write an article as a response. Mr. Miller, it's here. Jenny, you get off first. I've got a phone call. Bring people to the Gulf Village. Park far away from my car. Wait for my call. New house. We've got a new house. From now on, you two don't have to sleep in the same bed. 
When you grow up, marry somebody. In the city, and we will spend our time here. We will be waiting for you to come back home. Mom passed away in a car accident when we were very young. They not only took away all the compensation fees, but also kicked us out. Now, they are back for money. They are taking advantage of us when we have no family to rely on. Are you Jenny? You are Jade? Yes. Jenny? You're finally home now. A couple of days ago, some people came to your house. There were a lot of them. But till now, no one has come back. I heard that your grandma got sick. They don't care about your grandparents in normal days. This time, she got sick. Everyone has come back. In my opinion, they're just acting for the villagers. They don't take care of my grandmother during normal times. Usually, they only come back during the holidays but your grandparents have pensions so they don't need those people jenny is this your boyfriend jade this is my husband his surname is miller good good jenny as i see you're having a good life but don't let your family know this time your grandma might need a lot of money once they know about your life they must ask for money from you Come, come in. Jade, could you get all the neighbors to come over? I want to know something. Okay, I'll get them. You sit. Okay. Mr. Miller, I'm afraid they won't cooperate. The villagers here look simple. Just ask them whatever you want. Jenny! Jade. Everyone is here now. Come in. Everybody is here now. I wanted everybody to do me a favor. I wanted to know how much you all know about what happened to my father and my mother. You see, I knew that she was coming back to ask about those things. Didn't your cousin Willie take all the compensation that your parents got? How do we know better than you? Could you repeat what you said just now? Jenny, it's not that we don't say. We just can't afford to offend your cousin. You can leave this all behind, but we still live here, right? You will just have to say what you said again. I swear I will keep it secret. It's not that we're hard on you, but if you tell it to others, we won't live here in peace anymore. You are making things hard for us. I... Forget it, Jenny. Let's go now. But we've come a long way here. Don't worry. I've got an idea. Jade, thank you for this time. I feel like you all have many concerns. So I won't bother you anymore. Jenny, I'm sorry that I couldn't help much. They're just afraid to say it. Jade, I understand. Thank you. Jenny, could you drive home now? Usually, I deal with people like them more often. I want to try to talk with them again. Don't get into conflicts with them. We have the information of these people now. Let's go. Haven't you left? Why are you blocking the door? What are you here for? What do you mean? Are you threatening us? Do you think you can walk over us? We won't offend those brothers of the Gulf family no matter how many of you are here. Exactly. We won't listen to what you say. If everyone is willing to help me, we will give you benefits. But if you won't say it, 
will stay here until you change your mind. We won't have a good life if we offend the gulfs. Who cares about your benefits? Your sister just graduated lately. She can't find a job. Your income isn't stable, is it? Here's an offer from Miller Group. Now your sister's future is all on you. I will say it all. Your daughter just graduated from kindergarten. She hasn't got a school to go to. Ah, I will say it too. Hey, I know more than they do. Let me tell you right now. After you record them all, let me talk too. I will tell you everything. Listen, don't, don't, don't move. That year, Willie Gulf. Yeah. After they come back, their grandparents gave them all the money. Denny. Have you seen the trends? You didn't even answer my call. Sit, Lucy. I saw the trends. I went home with Atwood today. But those villagers wouldn't tell us anything. What should we do? Mr. Miller, did they tell you anything? They wouldn't have said a thing if they're not given benefits. On our way there, I made my friends take something to the village for them. Right after we left, they came instantly. Awesome! Get your laptop and take some notes. Once we get this evidence, we won't be afraid of the rumors? Okay, I'll get it now. By the way, Jenny, remember to thank Mr. Miller. I get it? Willie, don't call me anymore. There's no way that I would delete the article. Jenny, so you've asked for it. Don't think I'm afraid of you and those people that you know. More people should. See how hypercritical you are? Leave it all to me. I know some friends from the media. I will let them fix it out. Anyway, they are in trouble now. Let's eat, Mr. Miller. Who are you inviting to breakfast? So much food. Just the two of us. The sun is rising from the west. Yes. Today, the sun is rising from the west for you. I'm sorry, Mr. Miller. We signed the contract. Why are you so shameless? I'm not shameless at all. We're legally married, after all. Kissing is perfectly normal. Are you shy, Mr. Miller? You're being stubborn. You will be punished. Today's dishes. Are they to thank me? You know the answer. By the way, there's something I've wanted to ask you. Whenever Lucy and I get in trouble, you're the one who helps us out. You work for the Miller Group, but you don't have anything to do with the richest Miller family. If I have anything to do with them, I wouldn't go to places with you. You're just lucky. I'll go to work now. Come back early. I want Willie to apologize to Jenny within three days. Yes. Lucy, you're here. You don't have to cook today. I had, before I came. I have prepared ingredients for Aldrich. He will cook himself. Lucy, this is called do half and leave half. This is how we split our life. Aldrich was very nice to Lucy not long ago. He has changed so much now. It's all his mother and sister who have changed him. Aldrich does everything they say. Lucy, Tony is just about to go to kindergarten. I think you should get a job now. 
I don't make money and that's why Aldrich treats me so badly. But you're right, if you don't look for a job, I won't have the confidence to fight with him. Let's go, Lucy. I will show you around outside and send you back home. Aldrich is going to argue with you because of the food. Jenny, I'm going home. You should go home too. Lucy, let me walk you home so Aldrich won't get mad at you. I have decided to do it this way. I have prepared for a fight. Also, I'm already ready to divorce him. Don't worry. You still have me. Where were you going? How could you come back? Oh, Jenny is here. Aldrich haven't eaten yet? Jenny, Lucy does nothing at home every day. It's been years. She has never brought any money back home. I go to work and I have to cook myself. It feels like I have a wife for nothing. Look, look, she's like that every time. Aldrich, you think these toys can clean themselves automatically? My sister went out for a minute, and the house was all messy. Also, the clothes you wear, your socks and your pants, you don't even wash them yourself. You only leave them to my sister to wash them. The reason that I brought these up today is because you never think about these chores. If it were not for Lucy, would you have such an easy life? Is there any need for you to talk that much? When I'm not home, you must complain a lot about her. Okay, I'll cook now. Lucy. Don't trust Aldrich. He doesn't listen to what we say. Don't worry about me. If I give up on him, he won't be able to mess with me. Lucy, I'll go back to the store now. I guess he won't put you in trouble for now. I'll walk you out. Take care of yourself. Jenny, are you going now? All right, it was my fault. Come eat the dinner with us. I've already eaten. Take care. Ouch. Did you mix up the salt and sugar? How am I going to eat this food? Didn't you make it yourself? So? You regret separating our family that you brought up yourself? You are starting it. Aldrich, go out if you are losing your mind. Don't disturb Tony. I'm going crazy because of you. What you? You're gonna push me? It hurts. Let go, let go, let go. All right, all right. We both let go. Okay, I, uh, I, I count to three. We let go together. Aldrich, you... You can't! You- You stop! Mom, Lucy is going to kill me! She's going crazy! Come save me! Stop there! like that ah she's going crazy she was gonna kill me with a knife she wants to kill me you're a man you can't even fight a woman you are not giving her lessons look what you look like now where is she come on i will teach her some lessons she's over there let's go lucy how dare you fight with aldrich aldrich said he didn't have lunch after he woke up what kind of a wife are you and you let him cook by himself Aldrich has never cooked in our family all his life. He started it. He's upset. He just wanted to beat you. And you resisted it? How dare you? Look, you have beaten Aldrich like this. He should divorce such a shrew like you right now. It was him who said we go Dutch. I was just doing what he said, so he could beat me whenever he gets mad. He is your son. You worry about your own son. 
but I have no parents. Do I deserve all the bullying? Even though I don't have parents, I won't take this bullying no matter what. Aldrich Davis, I have already told you, if you want to hit me, you can just kill me right now or don't expect to sleep at night. I will kill you secretly. Shrew, what a shrew! Let's go, Aldrich. Let's go home. Hmph. Let's go. Aldrich, just divorce her now. Sue for custody of Tony. Jenny is married, and her husband has a house. That's why she's not afraid. You should be careful about the divorce. I've seen the woman you uh, have been hooking up with. She seems to be less hardworking than Lucy. Mom, how did you know about her? The other day I saw you kissing that woman in front of the hotel. Then I understood everything. Lucy doesn't look as good as before after having a child, and she complains all the time. Allison is not the same. She's pretty and young. I think she is the wife that I want. You should marry a virtuous woman. I don't mind you seeing other women, but you should be cautious if you're marrying Allison. Make sure you don't regret it. All right, I get it. I have wanted to divorce Lucy for a long time. I know what I want. Think about it clearly. I won't interfere with you. These days, just live here. Don't go home for now. Open your eyes while walking. I'm sorry, sorry. I'm really in a hurry. What do you want? I want to go to the Miller Group. Could you send me there? Please, please. Get on the moto. It must be here? Yes, it is here. Thank you. Hey, you are... That girl on the trends? Oh, you know about that too. Seems like everyone has known. Actually, I was on the trends too. Oh, you are... Miss Williams. You guessed it right? Miss Williams. Actually, thanks to your help. The trends about us went down. It's not a big deal. I, I did that for myself too. You helped me today. Call this number if you need help. Mr. Miller, why is Mrs. Miller with Annie? Ignore them. That's weird. This car looks like the one I saw downstairs. Mr. Miller? Let her stand there. Yes. Mr. Miller. Miss Williams. Mr. Miller. Just call me Annie. Mr. Miller. Why are you wearing the ring on your ring finger? Miss Williams is a smart person. You know what it means to wear the ring on the ring finger. Mr. Miller, are you really married? But they all say you're not interested in women. If you know what's good for you, don't come bothering me again. Start the car. Ah. Hey! There's no escaping it. After Mr. Miller's post is gone, I will continue to send you on the trends. There's more violence for you. Mr. Gulf, please pack up your things and move out today. You're fired. It's impossible that I get fired, even if this company goes broke. Who are you to fire me? That's Mr. Jackon's decision. If you have any doubts, you can talk to him. Wait here. Hello, Mr. Wolf. I was just in the office. Why did they send me the letter of dismissal? I have nothing to do with you. Don't drag me into this. Hi, Mr. J. I want you to help me. Fuck off. I'd help you only if I want to die. Mr. Jacon. What are you here for? It must be wrong. You don't even know about that. Just now, 
the secretary told me I was fired. It must be a mistake. That's my decision. Just do what I tell you to do. Mr. Jekon, wait, wait. You don't even know what you did yourself? Some people you can't mess with? Mr. Jekon, fuck off. Do not bother me. You son of a bitch. Are you going to ruin Jenny and Lucy or my family? My house was reported as illegal and is about to be demolished. I haven't got any money, but I've already lost a lot. Okay. Look at those two girls. They're going to destroy us. Right now, everyone is cursing us on the internet. Are these two girls trying to kill us? They've made our family be humiliated. They're not going to give us money and going to ruin our reputation. Listen, you need to go find those friends who helped you spread the news. Fix this immediately. I don't even have a job now. Who would want to help me? Right now, I think the only option is to find Jenny. What did you say? How was I supposed to know that her article would have such a huge impact? Maybe she has some powerful backers. Even at this point, you're still being stubborn? Go find those two girls and apologize to them in person. Otherwise, they're going to ruin our family. Hello, do you sell comic books here? I'm sorry, we don't have comic books. Fine. Oh, you are Jenny Golf? Miss Williams, I didn't know that you like visiting bookstores. Ah, uh, I love reading comic books. So, you work here. Yes, I'm both the boss and worker. My friend and I opened this bookstore together. Ah, uh, so I should visit it more often. Oh, how's it going? Between you and Mr. Miller? Don't even mention it. Don't be sad. You're just starting to pursue him. There will be a chance. Tell your secret. Mr. Miller is married now. I heard that he is not into women. I think he's covering something. I saw it with my own eyes. He was wearing a wedding ring. Jenny, Jenny. Jenny. Whoa. What brings you here today? Jenny, we are real cousins. It was my fault. Forgive me, okay? Willie, I just made a response to that article of yours. With your contact, it's not hard to delete it. What's with that, fake manners? So the trends were your doing, huh? Miss Williams, I didn't know you were here too. Now I've lost my job and the house at home was reported illegal. It will be demolished soon. I have nothing left. Please forgive me. Didn't expect you'd end up like such a failure. In the phone call, you said you can do everything you want in Munich. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Please spare me. Willie, don't beg her anymore. If she doesn't agree, I'll smash up her store. You will see what you get if you try to smash up this store. You bastard. Don't you know who she is? Willie, your suffering has nothing to do with me. As long as you quit bothering me and Lucy, I can delete the trends. Great, great. Thank you, thank you. We will stay in the village and never bother you anymore. Go away right now. Okay, okay. Jenny, you are being too kind. They spread rumors about you and bother your life badly. And you just forgave him this easily. Never mind. Just spare him now. Besides, I don't want to have any ties with them. All right. It seems that I have a lot to learn from you. All right. I get it. Really didn't expect that. She beat her cousin up so badly. You've started to spoil your wife. Jenny has been bullied since she was a child. It's all because no one protects her. She's my wife now. Bullying her is bullying me. So you're in love with her? I protect my own wife. Is there any problem? Let's go to lunch together. I can't eat with you. You're gossiping like a woman. 
I like being in peace. Okay, I'll go eat by myself. You don't work overtime today. You came here early. I need rest too. Let's go. Right, I want to visit Lucy today. Jenny, you're here to see Lucy. Yes, Jude. Jude, what has happened? Why was everybody watching me along the way? That day, Lucy was chasing Aldrich in the hallway with a knife in her hand. People thought she had a good temper before. Who knows? That day, she was frightening. Lucy and Aldrich fought? Yes. We don't know what happened. I assume that Lucy didn't want you to worry so she didn't tell you. Okay. Thank you, Jude. How did you come? Sean! Such a big thing happening. Why didn't you tell me? I'm fine. It'll be fine in two days. Rest assured. This is all done by Davis. I'll take it out on him. Jenny! He didn't take advantage of me. You didn't see it. He was chased by me with a cleaver. Lucy! For domestic violence, one or many. If you don't look for trouble, it will happen again. Don't worry. I don't want to cause any issues. You didn't see how I beat him up. If he has such thoughts later, he will weigh them in his heart. Damn, Aldrich. How could he be so ruthless as to deal a death blow to you? The way I am now, he might be tired of me long ago. Don't cry. Haven't you eaten yet? Let's go have a dinner. I haven't eaten either. I'll be dining alone anyway. Okay? Let's go. I have been so gloomy recently. Let's have a drink together. Lucy, why he beat you? It's go Dutch. After you left that day, you pushed me so far. If you want to go crazy, go crazy outside. It's all because you. Aldrich is absolutely a bastard. Lucy, don't worry. I will get even with him tomorrow. Oh. Stop drinking, Jenny. Don't stop me. Late, take her home. Okay. Be careful. Given your poor alcohol tolerance, no drink is good for you. Don't blow on me, your alcohol breath. You wish. Don't use alcohol as an excuse to behave inappropriately. I'm drunk. Don't yelling at me. When you were drunk last time, I brought you home. But I didn't ask you to take care of me and hug me. I didn't permit you to carry me. Never again. Jenny, we already got home. Go to your room and rest. I want you to bring me to my room. Jenny, I warn you, don't use alcohol as an excuse to behave inappropriately. Mr. Miller, do you have the same problem as that Mr. Miller? What's the problem? Or you're just incapable, or you like men, don't you? Huh. Grandma set us up before. 
When I didn't see you, I thought you looked like Pigsy. Pigsy. I didn't know you were so handsome. Well, well. Take a rest. Mr. Miller. You are being shy. How about that? You give me a kiss. I'll let you go to rest. Mr. Miller, I dare not do that. Never again. They have been in love for years, but now their life is a mess. But why does Atwood make me feel happier than before? Oops. Maybe our flaws haven't been exposed yet. Drink it. Go back to the room and rest. Give your brain a break. Don't worry, I'll be good. Did you do all of these? I bought them from the Wannell Hotel this morning. Come to eat. Jenny, I think today you should hold off on going after Davis. Why not? I think it's better to ask Lucy first. If Lucy wants to go on with him, isn't that making Aldrich look bad? Um. Eat it and I'll take you to the store later. Okay. You too. Jenny. I think these two are here for you. Amy. Auntie. What do you think we're here for? Lucy hits Aldrich. What do you want to say? Lucy hits him first. Am I right? How can Lucy beat him badly? If Aldrich hits first, that's all because of Lucy. That day, if you hadn't brought Atwood, Davis would have kicked her ass. Anyone will slap her in the face of all the cracks she has done. It's a retribution. She should suffer it. So that's it. You think what Lucy should do to let Davis forgive her? Jenny, you're younger than Lucy. You can make your own decisions about how to figure it out. You can tell Lucy to prepare a big gift. Apologize to Aldrich, then write a guarantee. Jenny, what Amy says makes sense. Women ought to go to work and prepare meals at home. Aldrich pays the mortgage and tour living expenses. What a good life. She wasn't blessed with it. Auntie, you are also a mother. You know, it's hard to take care of Tony while working. Mothers with two or three children can work. Why Lucy can't work? She spends his money. Let Aldrich raise her. Lucy is able to earn money. She has a diploma. Why not work? Auntie, if you're willing to care, Tony, Lucy certainly goes to work. Don't forget, she earned much more than he did before she married. Jenny, calm down. Why should my mom care, Tony? My parents are willing to help me. Lucy can also let her parents help her. What a pity. What are you doing? What a foul mouth. Wash your mouth. Do you know how much it is? You can't afford it. Amy, calm down. Why would you hire her? Fire her? Sorry, she is the boss. I don't give a shit. You two have to pay for my dress today. I'll pay you whatever you want. Leave the dress alone. Lucy is my sister. I'm here to tell you the truth. Aldrich hits Lucy first. He should apologize. 
If you don't do that, you can let Lucy back home. Let's see how bad Davis can live. Lucy is nothing. Even if she wants to marry an old man in his 70s or 80s, she couldn't. She's ugly and lazy. Aldrich no longer loves her. I warn you, if Aldrich screws around, he must be worse off than he is now. Jenny! Just a quarrel. Lucy never thinks twice. Don't worry. Aldrich never does that thing. Jenny, think about it. What would she do without Aldrich? Oops! Stop! It will be fine, Jenny. Mom. Amy. Auntie. Shit! Why did they come here? Are you okay? I'm okay. Just the words are hard to hear. I'm pissed off. I wish I could hit them. Like my relatives in the country. They look pretty pissed off. That's for sure. I feel relieved. But their relationship is so tense. No more money for her. Lucy doesn't have a job, no income. Finding a job is very necessary. Eh? Sean has a company. Why not let Lucy work there? Don't bother you, Miss Ruby. I can't arrange a job for her. But I know some friends. It's not a big deal. Thank you, Ruby. But it's my family's business. Let Atwood sort it out. Well, okay. Eh, where is Jenny? Just gone. Oh, you remember to eat. Wait. Sean, do me a favor. It's about Lucy. I suspect Aldrich is cheating on her. You are not too busy. Help me. I will send you photos later. Okay, I'm off. Why, staring at me like that? Just now. You heard Sean's name. Why the big reaction? I just don't want to bother Ruby. It's not what you think. Really? Yes. Why do I feel like you're jealous? Well, I am not jealous. You better. Sean. I was about to call you and you called. Jenny. Is the man in the photos, Aldrich? Why do you have them? After they left the store, Ruby asked me to keep an eye on Aldrich. Jenny, anything you need me to do, just let me know. It's better to handle it on our own. Thank you, Sean. Last time they left, I think there's something wrong. Just as expected. We'd better tell Lucy earlier. The sooner she knows, the better. Let's go. Lucy. Just make a concession and preserve his dignity. Call him home, Jenny. What do you mean? You know, it's unrealistic for them to ignore each other. Tony hasn't seen his dad for days. He never cares about Tony. He had legs. He knows his way home. He doesn't even want to go home. Lucy, don't be angry. I will take Aldrich back home. When he comes back, you two stop quarreling. Go! Mom, why? Don't let him come back, Lucy. Tony has been crying recently for his dad at night. I have no choice. There's something I must tell you. I can't believe he betrayed me long ago. Lucy, how about you take Tony to my home for a few days? Mom, stop crying! Tony, no worries. Mommy, definitely keep you around. Tony, go play with me. Aldrich did it to such a degree. There's no need to pity him. Lucy, we don't have enough evidence. You mustn't tell him that. You have to hold it. Okay, baby. It's home. 
call you later. Is that okay? <laughs> Face like thunder. Just got back. Don't welcome me? Aldrich, look at you. Is that how you apologize? Hmm. I apologize? What have you done to me? If it's not for my mom, you would have been able to see me? Aldrich, you're already home. Why don't you spend time with your wife instead of calling me? She can't compare to you! Aldrich, I've bought many new clothes. Wanna see? Naughty! No need to say that! I won't show you? Of course I wanna see it! You a- Hello! Why did you come in? Get out! Come on, baby! You smell so good, baby! You smell so good! If you don't get out, I'll make you impotent. I'm only willing to touch you because I've been alone. Get out! What a scum! Fine. Aldrich? Why did he come back? He still thinks I'm in the dark. If I divorce him now, I can't get custody of Tony. Lucy, are you just going to let him bully you like that? I'm not saving him any grace now. He won't dare to mess with me. But I've decided to look for a job today. I'll divorce him once I have enough evidence. Lucy, let us take care of Tony for now. Atwood is also in that company. He can help you care for him. Sorry you don't meet our standards. Please find another job. I want to know the reason why you don't hire me. You need to look after your family. It's impossible to hire a 30-year-old woman to be a clerk. Now go! There's no difference between us. You can't judge a book by its cover. Hire someone like you. It's just a matter of time. Now get out. Security guards? Someone is making trouble. Don't touch me. You can't insult me. Don't touch me. It's you. Lucy? Mr. Jack, and why are you here? It's my company? Atwood, how often do I meet Lucy? She came to my company for an interview and had an argument. What position she interview for? A clerk. Let her in. She's capable. The Miller Group will pay her. I know. Jenny, I got a job. I said, you can do it. Sit down. I met Mr. Jacken in the company, the man whose car was scratched. What a coincidence. He is the boss here. Thanks to him, I have this job. Oh, you went to the Jackon group. What? Lucy gets the job on her own. I know Mr. Jackon, but I didn't ask him to give Lucy a job. Well, thanks to Atwood last time, Mr. Jackon wouldn't have remembered me if it weren't for him. I will cook a table of delicious dishes to celebrate. No need to bother you so much. He's leaving for work in a while. I am going to the store too. We are a family. 
We are very happy that you get a job. Mr. Miller. Although Lucy can work in the Jackon group, but I feel that you helped her. Wow, you think I am so powerful. G. Unhappy? Aldrich usually comes home at this time. I'm afraid of Lucy. No worries. She is a sensible person. Mr. Miller, I want to go for a walk. Okay. It's so cold. Put on my coat. Won't you be cold? It's okay. Ask you a question. What would you do if there was only one coat? But we were both cold. Put it on you. Then you hug me. We're not cold anymore. Feel better? You hold me warmer than... I expected. It means you fantasized about hugging me. Um... Mr. Miller, you have helped me so much these days. Let me treat you to a late night snack. I'm all yours? Grandma told me to sleep with you since you are mine. You asked for it. Mr. Miller. Don't you want to go on? Go get some to eat. Two more bottles of beer. Don't drink too much. Don't worry. Thank you. Cheers. Mr. Miller, why do you drink? I am happy. So fun. Cheers. Is it good? Yeah. I don't like fish. Fish bones. There are no fish bones. Your mouth. Be careful. You get drunk. Mr. Miller, I want to go home and sleep. Go. Does she really not care about the deal? Jenny, you can be only my wife. Mom, is Aldrich with you? I want to talk to him. He's not home yet. He's working late at the office. He has no spare time. 
How about another day? Mom, you're hiding something from me. You're overthinking it. He's busy with work. It happens all the time. I'm going to sleep. Where are you, Aldrich? I need to talk to you. Hello? Who are you? He is taking a shower. I'm his secretary. Who are you? You must be the mistress. You're the mistress? I'm his secretary. He's drunk tonight. Come sleep here. I didn't think you'd call. Bitch. Leave my husband. You are old. He doesn't sleep with you. If I hadn't seen it, I'd think he was a loser. Where are you? Are you coming over? Send you the location. But you need to be quick. Your husband is almost out of the shower. Lucy, what did he do to you? He is with that woman outside. You come to take care of Tony. Lucy. Jenny. Where are you going late at night? You can't go outside? I have an emergency. I need to go out. I will go with you. Lucy is going to find Aldrich, but she didn't send me location. I am afraid of her. Wait for me down there. I'll change my clothes. Text me Aldrich's location in five minutes. Aldrich, who's better looking, me or Lucy? She is nothing compared to you. I forget to tell you, Lucy just called and I answered. She seemed a little angry. What if she got the wrong idea? Why don't you tell me earlier? The phone rang for a long time. So I answered it for you. Are you scared of her knowing this? Oh, I'm sorry. I was too anxious just now. Coward. Hey, I don't fear her at all. I already wanted to divorce her. But what if she comes after us? No worries. There's no better day than today. She'll find out about this anyway. Let's do it today. Aldrich, will she take your property if you divorce her? I won't give her a penny. She hasn't earned a penny since she was married. Aldrich, who bought your house? I made the down payment. She only paid for the decoration. I won't let her get my house. Aldrich, pay off the mortgage in advance. In this way, she can't claim it. Aldrich, you can send me your salary. I'll help you save it. Then, she won't have a share of your money anymore. Let me think. Aldrich, it could be Lucy. I'm afraid? Impossible? Knocking in the late night? Are you insane? Shit! What? Why are you here? Who cares about Tony? Aren't you taking care of Tony at home? He... Bitch! Control yourself! You! You like being a mistress! Don't touch me! Bitch! Witch! You like being a mistress, right? Are you insane? You too? You've gone too far! Aldridge. Lucy, are you okay? Aldrich, you and your family tricked me into quitting my job and becoming a housewife. Now you're betraying me to be with this bitch. I can't believe you hit me for her. You're like a shrew now. Watch your behavior and manners. That's all because of you. I worked hard for your sister and you to study. 
Do you have any conscience at all? Lucy, let me hit her. Aldrich, we get a divorce. I've heard that. Get out of here with Lucy. You bastard. Say it again. Aldrich, we work together. You will be fired. If anyone else knows it. At that time, the woman you are holding might abandon you. Atwood, you are nobody. I am not the boss, but I am. Not as incompetent as you think. I am just an ordinary employee of the Miller Group, but I believe God will know what you have done. Calm down. We don't argue with him. Let's leave here. I overestimate you? Get out! Your gulf family is good for nothing. It's your retribution. Don't be sad about that asshole. He doesn't deserve it. I was supposed to talk to him tonight about the divorce. But I didn't expect it to end this way. Don't worry. I don't have any expectations for him anymore. I was calm on the way here. But I went crazy when I saw them. I feel ashamed. It's nothing. He is doomed to destruction. Don't worry about me. It's not because I want to fix the relationship that I am making trouble at the hotel. Just releasing my stress. I'm glad you said that. Mr. Miller, you are a gentleman, but you have such a strong sense of oppression. Look how scared he is. Jenny! Have you been drinking? Lucy, it's me. I was in a bad mood and she accompanied me. In that case, drink with me today. Celebrate my return to singleness. Go to bed early. I go back. Mr. Miller, I'm particularly worried about you. I can't imagine how bad it would be without you. Thank you. We are one. This is what I should do. Okay? What do you mean by this kiss? Kiss if I want. Just a kiss. I don't accept. The kiss of gratitude. You. We are one. It's not for gratitude. By the way, you're all sweaty. Go take a shower. Otherwise, it will affect your perfect image in my mind. But I can't wash my back myself. Em? I can't go to your room. You figure it out yourself. Ah. Now that you're in my room, there's no such clause. Reap as one has sown. Wanna look down? Mm-hmm. Shy. What? Good figure. You just made me look at it? What do you want to do? This time is different.
wake. Um, I go to work. I heard you and Lucy went to catch adultery last night. Did it go well? Her divorce makes my life feel so much better. What are you two talking about? Lucy, what are you here for? Wow, you look full of life. Oh, be quiet. By the way, what's your plan for the future? I have an appointment with him this afternoon. I'm here to tell you that Aldrich might take the house. That's so good for him. You pay for the renovation of the house. He can get the house, unless he pays you back for the renovation fee. He must return the money to me, or he'll never get the house. Here are the divorce papers. I've already done it. Just sign it if you're okay. Moreover, get a divorce as soon as possible. You leave me without a penny. You give the property to me. I will sign. I bought this house and the car before marriage. They are all mine. You just started working. Your income is unstable. I make a concession and I raise Tony? This? No way. I don't need the house and the car. But you want to spend tens and thousands of dollars to get rid of me. No way. Besides, I pay for the renovation fee unless you pay me back. Aldrich, the house is yours? Let her go. We'll charge her rent if she doesn't leave. I will move out immediately as soon as you pay me back. Don't even think about the custody of Tony. You don't fulfill your father's responsibility. Tony belongs to our family, whatever you say. We'll see. Daddy and Mommy, what are you doing? Baby Tony, do you want to stay with me? No, I want to live with Mom and Dad. Good boy. Tony. Daddy. Takes you to buy more and better cars, okay? Okay. Tony. Don't go. Let me go. You can't hold him. Don't hit my mom. Put me down. Be obedient. Tony belongs to the Davis's family, and he has nothing to do with you. Now I'm not afraid of you. Go. Huh. I thought you weren't coming. Last night went well. What about those two? Let them get out. Although Lucy knows about Aldrich's betrayal, there is no substantial evidence on her hand. She has no chance of winning if they break up their relationship. You investigate him and his income and every amount of money he and Allison has packing for me tonight. I know. Mr. Miller, is now convenient for you? They took Tony. Jenny. Where is the location? Oi. Do you need someone else? No thanks. You have to know every detail of Aldrich. Pack it for me. Jenny, do you know the location? Hey. Do you need to bring some people? No. Just check all the information of Aldrich and send it to me. Aldrich, your family is all scum. Tony is the R family's child. We'll take care of him. If you keep talking nonsense, I'll cut your tongue off. Lucy! How did you get in? It's between our family and Lucy. It's none of your business. Your family have done such a thing. Your animals. Just take Tony if you want. Lucy, do you have evidence? I have a lot of means to get the custody. Lucy, I've asked my friends for help. Let's leave for now. Once we find the evidence, they won't be able to argue. Come on! She is my mom. Auntie. Amy? Well, Allison, you are just staying here temporarily. After I divorce her, feel free to return, okay? Aldrich, do you still count what you promised me on that night? I've done so much for you. Of course, just a bank card. When you move in, I'll write your name on the property certificate. Really? Of course.
You two go up first. I have some things to do. Well, let's go, Lucy. Okay. Everything is in place. I've investigated him thoroughly. I haven't overlooked any details. Lucy, this is Aldrich's important information. That's enough. Here's the evidence of their affairs and his bank deposits and income records. I've always assumed he had no savings. Such a fool. Lucy, it's all over. This is the joint deposit. He must give you half. You can get back Tony's custody with them. The facts are irrefutable. I'm going home now. I plan to meet him tomorrow. Thanks. Why are you here again? Are you looking for trouble? Aldrich, stop irritating her. Aldrich, open it. Then let's talk about divorce. Lucy, shame on you. Tear it up as you please. There are many more here. How do you get them? Tell me. You don't need to know that. How about renegotiating the divorce? It won't make a difference. Lucy, listen up. Either you sign the argument or you get out of here. You want to renegotiate the divorce? Huh? No way. Aldrich, I have other evidence. You will be fired if I tell your boss you're taking kickbacks. What do you want? I don't want the car or the house. I only want the renovation cost. But the cost is at least one hundred and forty thousand dollars, and I want the custody of Tony. You can't give in to her demands. You still have me. Don't give her so much money. Our joint property can't be enjoyed by you, Aldrich. Don't let Miss Garcia down. Time is running out. I will sign it tomorrow. It's all over for us. Lucy, they're coming. Jenny, you wait for me here. Okay. Your relationship is dissolved. Goodbye, ex. Is everything done? Lucy, Allie is going to live with me. Get your stuff out of here. I will move my stuff today, assuming you pay me the renovation fee. You can give me the rest of the money later. Do as you please. We won't give it to you. Jenny, let's go. Lucy, remember to move your stuff. Lucy, what garbage they are! What if they don't give you money? Smash the house! I just bought breakfast. Come and eat. I don't have time to eat. What are you going to do? They're divorced. Aldrich doesn't pay for her renovation fees. We're going to smash up his house. I'll go with you. Wait for me down there. Okay. You arrange a few people to Aldrich's house. Don't let anyone see you. First, remove the stuff I put a note on and smash the rest. Ms. Golf, the stuff's already moved. We're going to smash the rest. Do it. The worse, the better. Okay.
Lucy. You let your anger out. Now we don't owe each other anything. Let's go, Jenny. We can't live anymore. Look what they've done, Aldrich. You have to do it the hard way. You three are not going to get out of here today. Why did Lucy smash my house? It must be your sister, Jenny's idea. Huh? Today, I'll... My... I did you good at the hotel last time. Why are you still so ungrateful? If you can stand out today... But don't regret it. I'd like to see what you're up to. What do I want? Get on your knees and apologize. I promise you can still work in the Miller Group, okay? Ha ha ha. What are you doing, Aldrich? Why are you here, Mr. Anderson? Aldrich? You used your position to cheat on a female subordinate and embezzle money from the company. I'm telling you, from now on, you and Allison are fired by the Miller Group. Tomorrow, pack your things and get out of here as soon as possible. Mr. Anderson, please listen to me. It has nothing to do with me. But the three of them set me up, and I never did it. Mr. Anderson, it's him. Has he lied to me and threatened me to sleep with him? What are you talking about? If you hadn't seduced me and sent me hot pictures, I wouldn't be here. It's you who lie to me. Yeah. Wonderful. Really wonderful. Aldrich must be furious now. His house was destroyed and he must be fired from his company. Now Allison left him. But when he threatened you, you look like no about that. He would be. Get fired. You're lying to me, right? I only wrote a letter of complaint to take a chance. You'd better not. Hi, Jenny. I heard Aldrich got busted. Word gets around really fast. Jenny, did he give you a hard time? Hey, are you my cousin or Jenny's cousin? All right, Ruby. Yesterday, my husband was there. Or they will make it hard for me. Unexpectedly, we've only known for a few months, but he has helped me a lot. I think you're in love with him and can't leave him now. Well, I'm gonna go while you guys talk. Sean, don't go yet. Let's have lunch together. What I promised you last time hasn't been done yet. Okay. The matter is finally settled. Hmm. You as a brother-in-law look like her brother. By the way, there is another thing for you to tell Arvin this evening to have dinner at Wanel Hotel. He offered Lucy a job, and I took it as a personal favor. Uh. Okay. Hey, well, will you take your wife? You need to let her know your identity sooner or later. So why don't you give her a try in advance? You inform Arvin, and I'll pick up Jenny. All right. I'll have dinner with my friends. You need to fix dinner yourself. I'm not going to be polite to you as this is your place. When have you ever been? I'm just going to go to the bathroom. You order first. Okay. Sean, eat more. Sean, have some more. It's such a nice place. Where's your husband? He's always busy. He's probably working overtime. She keeps doing this. Does she enjoy this feeling? They're probably just having a friend gathering. Zip it. It's none of your business. Is it good? Have some more. What happened? It's like your wife neglected you. It's not certain whether she will be my wife or not. Did Mrs. Miller upset him while he was in the restroom?
Jenny, look, your husband is having dinner with the CEO of the Jacken Group. Hey, the one beside him is the Miller Group's vice president. Maybe his boss invited him to dinner. Don't you want to say hi to him? Forget it. Let's go. So strange. Why he's not back yet. I didn't know Mr. Miller would ever be stuck in the feelings. There's no time to waste on this. Hey. Why do you drink so much? Not your business. I'll make a hangover soup for you. Where have you been today? I went to dinner with my friend, and I left you a note about it. I'm gonna ask you the last time, who did you have dinner with? What are you doing? With my best friend? Go on. Now you remember who is he? Sean was here, at dinner tonight. Ruby is here too. What's wrong with me, having dinner with them? Don't you admit it yet? I'd believe you if I hadn't seen it. Believe it or not. Help me find out. How many people have dinner with Jenny tonight? Where is Ruby? I have finished? I said you were the CEO, hey. Can you stop making a fuss about your feelings? Sean not only regards Jenny as a sister, he likes Jenny. Who told me a few months ago that he would never be jealous? Jenny didn't know Sean liked her. If he keeps this up, he will only get bolder. Get an appointment with the family in this company. Okay. Hey, where are you going? Go to apologize. All men look the same when they drink too much. What? A nasty look. You are the girl of the Williams family, Miss Williams, right? Why are you becoming a celebrity on Twitter? Jenny, why are you so sad? Atwood got drunk last night before coming home, and I was so crazy. Jenny, is his last name Miller? He is Atwood Miller. Maybe you're just like Ruby, thinking about that he is related to the Miller family. I'm tired of explaining it. Atwood Miller. Well, do you also think her husband is the richest man, Mr. Miller, in Munich? No, no, no. I just stopped by to see you guys, and I'll go now. Jenny? I am wrong. What? I was wrong to misunderstand you. I didn't know it was the three of you at dinner last night. Well, I forgive you. Is that the person who went out just now? Is Annie Williams? Look at your wife. She even knows Miss Williams. Hmm. Jenny? You know Annie. I gave it to her once. It must be nice to get to know her. Hey, I'm meeting a client for dinner tonight. Yeah, go ahead. Come home early. If you get drunk again, you know. All right. Didn't 
didn't you just go out? Why did you sneak back in so fast? When I went to the bookstore, Annie was there too. She knows Jenny, and she had seen me. I am afraid she will tell my identity to Jenny. Even if Annie does not tell her who you really are, she'll find out sooner or later. Are you just going to keep this a secret? You tell the reporters to set up a press conference. Why? You've got a point there. Paper cannot wrap up fire. It's time to tell her. Ah, that's okay. Sit, please. Tell Sean to stay away from my wife. Mr. Miller, he's got a crush. And if given more chances, he wouldn't mess with Miss Golf. Yeah, Mr. Miller. Sean likes the girl who runs a bookstore in the city. I'm afraid you have misunderstood. May I ask your wife's name? As this is a mistake this time, we will warn Sean in the future. She is Jenny Golf. Yikes, Mr. Miller. This is Sean's fault. We must get him out of Munich as soon as possible. Make sure he can't bother you again. Please go easy on him this time. As long as you let Sean go and don't harass Jenny again, this thing is so past. All right. You go first. Hey, Mr. Miller. You're so good that you got it done so fast. Today they have known Jenny. The news of my marriage to Jenny will surely spread. Inform the press tomorrow. I would hold a press conference. Sean, get out. What's the matter? Are you trying to kill our family? Honey, talk to him instead of hitting him. You should end your mind to Jenny and stop looking for her now. Dad, why can't I pursue Jenny? I really like her. Kid, just listen to your father, and it's all for you. Impossible. Why do you get to decide my feelings? Do you know who Jenny is? She is the wife of Mr. Miller. Dad, what did you say? Kid, I know you can't forget her, but for the Johnson family, you can't pester Jenny again. We have agreed to send you to Liverpool. Not seeing her just ends the mind. Yeah. Keep your head up. Will you never leave me? No matter what. Nothing out of the ordinary. All you have to do is answer me. I like you for who you are. Well, go to work. I'm off now. Mr. Miller, may I ask when you two met? Three months ago, we got our marriage license. When the first day we met, Mr. Miller, what's your wife's name, please? She is Jenny Golf. Mr. Miller is Mrs. Miller, also from Munich. I never heard the family in Munich. She's not a rich girl. She just owns a bookstore, and she used to work there. Is Mr. Miller talking about the unfilial daughter who was hot on the internet, Jenny Golf, some time ago? Mr. Miller, why do you marry such an ordinary person? Right. And she was trending the other day. Why does Mr. Miller like her? My wife is Jenny Gulf. Any questions? Although she is an ordinary person and married to the Miller family, it's not a name you can talk about from now on. Jenny, look. Has Mr. Miller got married? I'm not interested. Jenny, is there anything wrong with my eyes? Why was your husband being interviewed at Mr. Miller's marriage scene? You may get the wrong person. It couldn't be him, okay? Oh my! Your husband is that Mr. Miller. What are you talking about? Oh, you see. How about my intuition? Oh dear, Jenny, you really married a billionaire. Wow.
I just happen to work in the Miller Group. And just a common worker. You won't even leave me? Jenny. 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 Give me the car key. Jenny, where are you going? Lucy, did you see trending topics? Jenny, she seems to have something wrong. What do you think she likes? What are you looking around for? Buy this store for me. This is the Mr. Miller I know. Hey, no more pretending finally. Ah, uh, that's true. What's bothering you today? The worst fears are coming. Hey Jenny, what are you doing here? Where is Atwood? Jenny, please don't worry and come with me first. Have you seen the news of Atwood? Andrew, I'm here for it. Atwood is the richest man in Munich, and he is from the Miller family. Yes, you're right. Mr. Miller is Atwood Miller, and he is the CEO of the company. We are the richest in Munich. As for why he hid it from you, I guess he had a reason. Jenny, don't leave. Get out. Why would he lie to me? Don't know, but he told me to keep you here. Lucy, I don't want to live with him. I want to go home. Don't cry, I'll take you home now. Please stop, Lucy. Atwood is already on the way back. Why don't you let the two of them work it out face to face? Andrew, she doesn't want to talk to him, so please don't disturb her again. The Miller family, you are way out of my league. Please get out first. Jenny. Don't touch me. Let's have a chat. You're the lord of the Miller family. What do we have to talk about? Jenny. I'm sorry. Let me go. Don't be angry. We're going home. Mrs. Miller. Well, Mr. Miller is so great. You have to be taken care of by so many people. As they come here early, and they're our family members. Atwood, do you think I will trust you again? Mr. Miller, I guess you were really wrong when you lived with me. Because I never told you. That's why you've been wronged in that house for so long. Don't say that, Mr. Miller. Living in Celeb Garden is my dream. I don't deserve this mansion. Where's the kitchen room? Go away. I can't eat with you here. Did I scratch the wound in your neck? I did it by accident. You deserve it if you lie to me. Mr. Miller, one thing I'm curious about. Why would you lie to me? In fact, it was Grandma who made me have to marry you, so I promised her to go with you, to get the certificate. I didn't mean that. Actually, I was gonna say... None of this. Go on. When I married you, I did not know who you were. I'm afraid you are for the property. So I thought of a way to test you. Atwood, did I know who you were before I married you? For what? 
For your cold demeanor when we got the license. For your an older teenager? Yes. I do have an agenda. And it is for your house. As you can give me a place to live. For your maturity. As you can put my sister at ease. So, from the beginning, you've been testing me. And lying to me for four months. Jenny. Don't touch me as I don't like it. Atwood. Do you know? I'm afraid your lack of money, so I'm very economical every day. I am afraid you'd go out to breakfast, so I get up early every day to make breakfast for you. Now it seems my fears were misplaced. No, that's not true. I'm sorry. And it's all my fault. You just stay here and I won't bother you, okay? Atwood, let me go. I really need to take a hard look at our relationship. No. Let me go. What are you going to do? Let me go. Atwood, please let me out of here. Can you? No, I don't want to marry Atwood. Indeed. Jenny, I'm here. Atwood, I beg you. Can you please not keep me in here and don't force me, okay? Jenny, I'll go outside. You stay here, okay? Atwood, if you really love me, you wouldn't keep me here. Get rest early. Atwood? <laughs> Abner, please help me. Where is Jenny? I had her locked up in the villa. If she gets away again, I'll never see her again. If you really love her, just do what she wants. Or you will only make her angrier. Mrs. Miller. Where is Atwood? He went out in the morning. He asked me to give you a message. Well, he said it was all his fault. He respects your wishes. And if you don't want to stay here, you can go back today. Well, then please tell him. Not come to me again. Hey, what's the matter? I said you two must be made up. I can't believe him anymore. I don't have the courage to live with him again. So where do you live these days? Lucy has rented a house outside for her and Tony. I'm going to stay there first. Yeah, dinner's ready. Mom, why can't we live in our own home? The old home is being renovated and we'll move back in after a while, right? Tony, did you miss me? Jenny, why are you coming here? Have you reconciled with him? I don't want to see him now. Okay, fine. When you go to work, I can take care of Tony. Will you? Just get over it. I have made the dinner. Oh, buddy, try it. It's been a long time. Jenny, are you really not going to forgive Mr. Miller? Lucy, actually, I've fallen in love with him already. But after what he's done to me, I just don't know how to go on with him, you know? Jenny, I can tell you Mr. Miller is actually not bad and he really loves you. Maybe when you calm down, you can consider forgiving him. Okay. Grandma. Your grandfather used to sit on the opposite side like this. He is so tall that as a hill, blocking my view. So I can only enjoy him, but not the flowers? Do you need me to find Jenny? To say anything for you? 
Let her calm down first, and let's just leave her alone. At least not now. Atwood, you're letting her go to her own house for a few days. I'm very glad, unlike before. So overbearing strong to keep her? Know how to leave the space for each other? This is a good thing. I will go find her in a few days. Not for you to intercede? I also should apologize to Jenny. Who lied to her first? Is me. What are you going to do? What do you think I should do? You can think slowly to understand that loving someone is not just falling in love, but learn to understand her, trust her, and tolerance of all her. Before your grandfather died, he was still worried about you, especially about your marriage. You were born cold and withdrawn. So many girls who like you. You even never talk to them. I take you and Jenny's numerology to go together. They say that you have a lifelong marriage. I was the one who beat the crowd to get you to marry Jenny. That guy was pretty good at it. Now you and Jenny have fallen in love, right? It's a little bumpy right now, but I believe in you. I'm sure you can fix it. There is nothing now. After that, the rest of your life is sweet, okay? I support you spiritually. Grandma, why do I get the feeling that you're being sarcastic. Am I? Am I sarcastic about you? Ah, I forgot. If you didn't tell me, didn't you just do thing proven wrong all the time? And you're stubborn. Now, you could get to do more things to love Jenny, right? What are you thinking about Mr. Miller right now? In fact, I'm in love with him already. But I don't know. How can I trust him again? He'd be fine if he was average. But he's the richest man. Every move he makes is being watched. We both are not meant to be in the same world. Mr. Miller, Jenny doesn't know how to face you now, but she loves you. I hope you don't let her down. Jenny, I will prove to you that I won't lie to you anymore. If I do anything to deceive you and hurt you again, I allow you to ignore me for a year. Well, a year is a little long. Three months. Jenny. Can we talk tomorrow? You are back. Come on. Atwood? You've been so good to me, not afraid of disappointment? Whether it's disappointment or not, I only want you to stay with me, and I can do anything. It was all my fault before. I shouldn't have waited so long to tell you about my everything. Atwood, you are the master of the Miller family, a rich family, but I'm just a normal person. I'm not good enough for you. Whatever you are, you'll be my only one from now on. All my shares of the Miller Group and the properties are here now. It's all yours from now on. Atwood, I don't want to depend on you. 
and that's not what I want. Whatever you say is okay. Everything was my fault before. Are you willing to marry me again? Jenny, will you marry me?